Hello everybody, this is that fish reader here. I'm sorry, I, I really couldn't get you guys a video yesterday, um, which is day three. Um, as of now, day four, I do have some footage. Um, yeah, so I do indeed have Daphne a hatch. I actually have quite a bit. Um, by the end of day three, I had about one fourth of my Daphne have hatched. And so uh, what the ratio was is that in the small container, I had about 11 hatched and about 4 hatched and in this larger container. Um, and then, uh, as of today, day 4, uh, I have confirmed approximately 20 in the smaller container and about 11 in the larger container. Um, and that's confirmed. There's probably many, many more that I haven't uh, so far sighted. So, I have about 31 plus uh, Daphnia hatched, which is a, a, tremendous, a, a tremendously good hatch rate, might I add. Um, let's see if you can see some. Um, the water is indeed cloudy because I have just given them a good feeding of yeast in both both of the uh, hatching containers. I've made it just cloudy enough so that it is difficult to see through, but it is indeed still transparent. So uh, you can still see um, features on the opposite side of the tank. Um, let's see. But this one is definitely far more plentiful than the larger... Um, hatching container and I do believe the reason why is because in this smaller container I have been using um, spring water and the other one was aquarium water and I do believe it has something to do with the purity of the water quality that does have to do with um, triggering the FFA um, or I believe it's F FFA? I'm not quite sure. Uh, sorry, that probably sounds real stupid if you're not sure what I'm saying. But that is the terminology for Daphnia eggs. Um, the eggs that uh, when once hydrated um, hatch out. So, um, yeah, they. Um, I do believe the trigger is similar to triops and um, brine shrimp, which is uh, the purity of the water, which um, which uh, shows to the um, hatching. Uh, creatures that um, it is an incoming rain so um, I do believe my hatch rate will increase tremendously over the next coming days because I do have about 31 of them out already out of um, 50 and because I did order 50 eggs um, I do have to say I do believe I got my money's worth uh, it didn't cost me a whole lot and um, I wish I could you guys could see them um, they're still very small uh, if I could say a size, I'd say about one, oh, you can see one hopping there. Uh, you could say about less than a millimeter, um, possibly a millimeter, but at, at the largest. So some of them are, are definitely not at their adult size, still juveniles. Uh, I will give them a couple more days, I'd say four or five more days until they reach adult size, and they will begin propagating their own, um, uh, their own. So you can see they do hop and they are relatively fast. They actually swim very fast in comparison to the brine shrimp and triops that we have been well versed in on this channel. Um, those f those um, type of creatures do indeed uh, actually swim in comparison to these animals um, hopping nature but I have to say that uh, they do have a tremendous speed. I mean, look at how fast these guys swim. Uh, I do wish uh, I, you guys could really see them. Um, but there are a tremendous amount in this smaller tank. Uh, I'm definitely going to have to move them. Because if I keep them in here and if they begin propagating, um, I'm definitely going to be having a size and oxygen uh, issue in this tank. Because they are going to be... Uh, so many so I'm probably gonna have to definitely put them in that five gallon but as you saw there he moved really fast These guys get across the tank far easily um, So I'm definitely gonna have to transfer them. So right now what I'm feeding them is just your basic ease uh, I, I have a lot more than just this. Uh, I keep it in the fridge the rest and I have about four ounces of uh, fresh actively dry yeast that I'm using here and they do seem to enjoy it. They actually act much like predatory animals, um, obviously they aren't, but they aggressively um, dive into into the clouds of um, yeast when I do dump them into the tank, and they actively uh, swim into it. And uh, they're, they're, since they are filter feeders, that is the way that they consume their um, 
prey, or you could call them prey, which is by, um, they, they consume it by swimming into it, and that's why they move around so much, because with each step that they're taking, they are actively consuming more and more of the microorganisms in their environment. So it is really cool. It's like us, every time we take a step when we walk, we are consuming um, just a little bit of energy. We're getting a little bit of energy every time we walk, which is really unique, um, I have to say. And, um, yeah, there are a lot in here. It may be difficult to see, and I really do apologize. Uh, it's not much easier to try to see them from the side. I'm sorry. Uh, it is still quite difficult, but they are in there, I assure you. There are about, uh, I can see easily quite a few in here. Um, you can see some of their structures, like their antennae, and, um, you can kind of see their, um, feature of kind of like a tail-looking thing. I'm not quite sure. But they are really cool. Uh, I do have to admit, they are really exciting to watch. Um, they don't seem to act much in the presence of each other. They don't seem to, like, um, like, uh, mind each other's presence. That's what I meant. But they do indeed, uh, enjoy f feeding. Uh, that's for sure. They, um, eat a lot. Um, the, I fed them earlier this morning. And it is kind of later at the night right now, but they've already cleaned their tank, so I had to uh, give them another feeding, or they'd probably starve tonight. So, uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm probably going to be needing to have uh, feedings twice a day to keep these guys um, growing, because I, I swear, they eat a lot. Um, they really are ravenous creatures. Uh, so, that's really um, how far I am with this. Um... Oh, and in here, uh, I kind of managed to separate what I believe to be a triop. I think a triop did hatch in uh, this container right here. And uh, I can't honestly find them. That's kind of embarrassing, I know. But I can find them right now. But I did separate them with a little bit of water, as you can see. And uh, he's either triop or fairy shrimp. He's obviously one of the two because uh, he swims in such a manner. He doesn't hop like the others. And he has physical features that do resemble a... Uh, first or second in star um, life stage of a fairy shrimp or a triops. So he's in there. I'm probably going to care for him separately. Uh, and I don't honestly know whether he is a fairy shrimp or a Daphnia, but uh, I mean a fairy shrimp or a triops, but we'll have to see as he grows older. But um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, I'm probably going to get another video updated uh, as soon as possible. So, anyways. Uh, that's about it. Like, comment. If you have any questions, uh, I'd gladly answer them. Alright, see you guys.